Alright, I want to show how to use the fraction key on one of these scientific calculators. First thing is finding it. You should have a key like this that says A and then a B over C. Uh, for a lot of graphing or a lot of scientific calculators it's up here. Once in a while you'll find it kind of along the side, kind of these down here. But look for that button first of all. And then you can use that to put in either just a fraction or a mixed number. Uh, so if you have like two and three fourths, you could do a two, and then that fraction key, and then a three, and then a four, that would be two and three fourths. And if you push enter, you'll see this is how this type of calculator writes it. Uh, sometimes they have like two and then actually a three over four. Sometimes they have two and then these little comma symbols in the answer. But you can see what that looks like for your calculator. If you just wanted to do three-fourths, then you would just do your three button, then that fraction key, and then the four. So that's how you would do three-fourths, and that's what it looks like on my calculator at least. Uh, so say you want to type in something like uh, the area of a triangle equals one-half times two-thirds times three-fourths. You could say, all right, one-half, I often just do 0 .5, but you could do one over two. So that'd be one half, and then two thirds would be two, the fraction key, and then the three, and then times, and then your three fourths would be three, then the fraction key, and then a four. Then press equals, and your final answer is one fourth. Uh, sometimes you might want to write that answer as a decimal. Uh, this, most of you probably know in your head, is 0.25, but if you're not sure, there's another key and it'll have like a F with an arrow and then a D. That's like changing between a fraction and a decimal. So say I want to take this one-fourth, I could either type in one-fourth and then use that key there, or since it's already there as my answer, I could just do second, because it's up above the button, and then hit that, and then equals. It changes it into a decimal. That also works if you want to take any decimal and change it into a fraction. For example, I could do 0.125 and then second and then that fraction decimal button and now it'll take that and change it into one eighth as a as a fraction. One final other thing you'll notice up above the fraction key it probably says A, B over C and then the little arrows and then D over E. That's how you could take a mixed number and change it into an improper fraction or an improper fraction back to a mixed number. So if we would have say 2 and 5 eighths, I could do 2, fraction key 5, fraction key 8. You could press equals if you wanted to, uh, but I'm just going to go right to that second and then my fraction key. So it's going to take in this and change it between a mixed number and an uh, improper fraction. Hit equals, so 2 and 5 eighths is the same as 21 over 8. So that's some ways to get the graphing calculator to do some fraction things for you.